What is going on, everybody? It is the Nether Dude. Welcome back to another video. Today, we, I'm gonna celebrate my 100th video on YouTube. Yeah, hundred, one, zero, zero, one, two zeros. Yeah. Uh, don't ask why my undershirt is hanging out of this sleeve. I do not know why it's doing that. But uh, before this video begins, guys, I would just like to say that my videos have been getting a lack of views. One video got one, another got two, one got three. My brother's telling me to wait. Uh, I mean, I can wait, but there's a, I can only wait for so long. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, question of the day is that, would you guys like this? Would you guys want me to do more reactions? Uh, and if you guys do, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. I will. I will. I will do the reactions. And, uh, today we are re actually reacting to, uh, Death Battle. It's by Screw Attack. Um, if you guys know who, don't know who they are, check out their channel. If you haven't heard of Death Battle, just search it up. A bunch of it will come up. Uh, today we are watching, uh, Solid Snake versus, uh, Sam Fisher from, uh, Metal Gear. Not Metal Gear, uh, He's from Splinter Cell, and Snake is from Metal Gear. So, yeah, let's get into this, shall we? Let's start the reaction. Death Battle was made possible thanks to the upcoming action comedy film Spy from 20th Century Fox, right. starring Melissa McCarthy, Jason Statham, Rose Byrne, and Jude Law. It's coming to theaters June 5th, and if you enjoy this episode, then you should definitely go check Spy. it out. Maybe I'll see you there. Money's on uh, I, they are the government's best I'm guessing the snake's gonna win because he's stuff, cool. trained to kill in a hundred different ways from the shadows or face to face. Solid Snake, the legendary soldier of Metal Gear. Sam Fisher, Splinter Cell's ultimate predator. He wears an iron boomstick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who will win a death battle. Oh boy, here we go. His name yeah. was simply David, it's and he had creepy. one clear purpose in life. Become the successor to the greatest soldier who ever lived. Snake. Why? Because he was cloned from him. Strap in, ladies and gentlemen, this origin's a doozy. As a secret government project, David was created oh, by the way, a is, donated uh, by a Japanese scientist and grown in the womb of a femtotal spy so along with seven other women brothers. Uh, she don't was point me out. Don't point me out because Octobon. I already know. Except they scrambled six of them to somehow empower the remaining two. According to prophecy, one of these twins would bring ruin to the world, while the other would save it. So that kind of works out. Born to be a soldier, he joined the Green Berets as a teenager, and later joined the CIA, the U.S. Army, and finally the high-tech black ops group called Foxhound. Here, Foxhound. his deadly stealth techniques earned him his legendary code name, Solid Snake. While serving under this special forces unit, he received training from the very man he was cloned from, Big Boss. But on his very first mission for Foxhound, war itself changed. After infiltrating the military nation Outer Heaven to rescue a fellow agent, Snake uncovered plans for the creation of a gigantic walking weapon that can airmail a nuke to anywhere in the world. It was called Metal Gear. Bum, bum, Despite being a Foxhound rookie, Snake destroyed the Metal Gear and discovered that Big Boss himself was apparently leading the enemy. After killing his own father, supposedly, Snake had had enough and entered early retirement. But since he had single-handedly destroyed a walking nuke shooter and the greatest soldier who ever lived, Snake became the next soldier of legend. Anytime a new Metal Gear showed up, Snake was pulled back into the fray. When all he really wanted to do was get drunk in Alaska and dog sled race with his 50 huskies. Talk about living the dream. Yeah, what a yeah, The longest sled race in the world. When did you become a dog musher? Turns mm -hmm. out Big Boss wasn't quite as dead as people thought. Even after Snake burned him alive with nothing but a lighter and a can of hairspray. History's greatest soldier, everyone. These metal gears kept hairspray. showing up. Soon, Snake was an expert at destroying these robotic behemoths. He even piloted a Metal Gear to destroy another Metal Gear that was designed to kill Metal Gears. Whoa. But Snake did not earn his reputation as the I'm, icon of I'm stealth by going in guns blazing. Although he knows how to use almost any weapon he finds, he keeps 
bases load light by entering missions with only the bare essentials. Snake carries a Ruger Mark II pistol with tranquilizer darts. Perfect for silent takedowns. But if he wants to get lethal, he whips out his 1911 operator, one of my favorite handguns ever. And he's got a stun knife, which is like if a taser and a knife had a baby. All three of which he incorporates into his specialized fighting style, CQC. A brutal mix of hand-to-hand -hand combat and gunplay taught to him by Big Boss himself. Preferring to remain unseen, these weapons wouldn't do Snake much good without other tools to keep him hidden from his enemies. I like the box, Snake's man. outfitted with his Octo Camo, a smart camouflage which can match the color, texture, and temperature of Snake's surroundings. Not even the Gecko oh, Buds with it. their infrared and night vision tracking can find Snake in this camo. Plus, he's always aware of his surroundings thanks to his high-tech eye patch, the Solid Eye. He's not actually missing an eye, it's more like a monocle from the future. With infrared, night vision, and radar, Snake's also been injected with nanomachines, which energize his body and his codec, an internal radio system. The codec allows two-way communication, which is 100% silent, almost like telepathy. We have little time, so I'll be brief. How about switching to nanocommunications first? Silence beats talk when it comes to safety. Yeah, if you guys don't know what Death Battle is, they usually do a thing where they talk about... Reading him info from the other side of the codec is his best they friend, Akka. They talk about, Akka. uh... The fighters before they actually control. fight. But he's also really good at hacking computer systems, so I guess he gets by. Give him enough time and Otacon can hack into any top secret facility. Apart from Big Boss, Snake has defeated cybernetic ninjas, psychics, his own twin, and of course cool. several giant metal gears. He can wield a railgun as powerful as a tank with his bare hands. And once blew up an actual tank using nothing but a couple of grenades. And once he powered through a sealed Sounds hallway cool. while being bombarded with microwaves and survived. Who throws microwaves at people? Come on! No, boots. <laughs> it's more like he was inside a giant microwave. My god. Think of the size of a hot pocket you could make with that. <laughs> Under the effects of microwaves, a normal man's skin would deteriorate in two or three pocket. seconds. Snake lasted more than three minutes. And any guy that could last three minutes is a goddamn stallion. Now I know what they call him solid. But seriously, this guy is built Tonka tough. Though he's hardly perfect, his Octo Camo provides only light protection against knives and other weapons. And even though he's yeah, in peak physical condition, video, one well-placed bullet will put him down as easily as any other man. There, also, cloning it's not, my, it's not me, it's the video. So By I'm the time man. he was 35 years old, they caused Snake to begin aging rapidly and even suffer heart issues and seizures. Old and wrinkly or not, you can count on Solid Snake to see every single mission through. And be a badass the whole time. There's a reason he's known as the man yep. who makes the impossible possible. I'm no hero. Never was. This must be from Metal Gear 5? Guessing? You haven't changed at all, Snake. Must be. This is Sam Fisher. Samuel Leo Fisher was born in Towson, Maryland in 1957. Whoa, he's older than I thought. Orphaned at a young age, he spent his youth at a military boarding school. I think his I'm just going to skip this and, and get straight the to the fight. Of his late so, uh, yeah, Sam's career let's do that. Government work was an All right. I, I think I'm on the fight. I think. Uh, it does look like it. So, uh, yeah. Let's get into the fight. Let's do it. Got a party crasher. Your new friend won't last long. There's only one way into that room. Don't lecture me. It's a farm. Holy crap, whoa. Holy crap. Oh, he shot the computer. These guys bring out some pretty cool fights. I don't know.
I'm not alone. Somebody beat me to the intel that destroyed the source. That's what they're fighting. Praying Mantis, Raven Sword. If they're operating out here, couldn't possibly be anyone we're familiar with. I'll start scanning radio frequencies and see if I can find any comm lines. But Snake, until we know what you're up against, I suggest you keep yourself out of sight. I've already got it covered. Please tell me it's not a cardboard box. Do I need to go over this again? The cardboard box is a very important tool for infiltration missions. It's ideal for fooling the enemy. Man, personal is just the only way I still can make a grand. Understand what I'm talking about? Get the picture of what this all about? It's time for you to walk it out. You don't want to be around when these dogs start walking out. You don't want to play the target. Snake, this is insane. Otacon, I'm not exaggerating when I say the success of my mission hinges on how I use this cardboard box. But in the end, a cardboard box... Snake's Go get his back, old man. This is too easy. Ah, what is that? I don't know. Somebody's interfering. Hello? Who is this? Identify yourself. I'm on it. Snake one. Actually, no. EMPs are 
comparable to microwaves and how they affect electronics. When the snake was bombarded by so microwaves, his solid eye survived for two minutes of non-stop radiation, while his nanomachines was pretty good fight. throughout the entire experience. A single EMP grenade doesn't quite stack up to a hallway of microwaves. Even if he did lose his nanomachine somehow, he didn't need him to beat Sam. Overall, Snake has a counter for anything Fisher could throw at him Dang. and had the edge in close quarters combat. Leaving this victory. That is not a good way to go. Poor Sam. This loss just kind of snuck up on him. Yeah, from the start, it was lights out for Sam. The winner is Solid Snake. I totally follow it too. Next time on. All right. So. That fight was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. But man, the way how Sam Fisher went out. Wow. I wasn't lying when they make up some pretty good fights. I wasn't lying. Uh, they, they make pretty good fights. Uh, yeah, but anyway, this was my 100th video on YouTube. Yeah, it's uh, pretty big. Uh, I got a couple friends that are YouTubers. They don't have that much videos. They have like 20 something or 12 or something. But I got 8, not 8. I got, sorry. Uh, I got 100 vids on YouTube. And yeah, I figured, you know, why not? Let's react to something. And uh, yeah. So. If you guys want me to do more reactions, uh, you guys can answer in the comments, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys get into this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, for more reactions. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want me to react, uh, ask me to what to react to. Depending if it has any bad language in it, it can't have any bad language in it. Like, it can have some, like, language in it, like the H word or the D word that aren't really that bad, but it can't have, like, the really bad words, like the B word and the F word and all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, so, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys, hopefully, you guys answer the question, and I will see you guys later in another video. Goodbye.